Well, it's been a pleasure this morning to have uh, David and Paula Wentz, uh, Jeremiah's mom and dad in our home, Jan and I, uh, offered them a place to stay with a little more comfort, and it's just been a pleasure for us to have them. Uh, over breakfast, we were discussing uh, various things about uh, the things that God's doing in our church, and uh, I was expressing to them uh, what I've been feeling recently about uh, what I've been reading and studying about uh, knowledge and wisdom and understanding and power. And we got into a discussion about the power of God and, and how uh, uh, I believe and I've been feeling like that uh, I, I desire the power of God in me to uh, minister to people, to, you know, whatever God would have me do, lay hands on people to see them healed or, or to pray with them about their addictions or their struggles or uh, their hang-ups, anything that might hinder them uh, in their walk with God. And I feel like not only myself, but all the church, God's people all need that. And we need the power of God in our lives to uh, really be effective and to, to minister to the people that God puts in our path. And uh, as we discussed that, uh, David uh, asked me uh, if uh, he, I'd like for them to pray for me. And they did, and they prayed for, uh, you know, for God to empower me, to help me, uh, to do the things that He'd have me to do, and doing to help people, and to uh, be empowered by the Holy Spirit to minister to people. So then, uh, I believe then Paula, or David, uh, talked about uh, Paula's uh, problem with her ankle. So then I'll, now I'll let uh, Paula take over and uh, tell about her, her problem and, and uh, how we pray for her. My name is Paula Wentz and I am Isaiah Malachi's grandmother, uh, Jeremiah's mom and Becky's mom and in-law. And, and I love the, the family here. I love the people here. It, it's a wonderful church and, and we, we uh, so love coming to visit. Following up on what Ron said, some of you who were there on April 18th uh, 2010 when Jeremiah spoke saw me walking around in the boot and and this shoe because of a condition I had called plantar fasciitis and I developed that about a year ago and uh, stepped wrong on my foot and and the tendon tore and it took through December to heal but I re-injured it when I wore poorly fitting boots out in the snow so I, I kept re-injuring it and finally went to the podiatrist who recommended this and he taped my foot and uh, he was heading towards giving me a shot in, in, um, in, uh, at, as a next step. So I, I, I've been very frustrated by this because we, we've had prayer for it, continual prayer and uh, prayer at, at healing events and, and yet I didn't understand why God wasn't healing it. But as we sat here this morning and, and I listened to Ron speak and, and I could hear that desire of his heart to want more of God and more of his power to do the things that Jesus calls us to do, I, I sat there and, and I thought, I want this man to pray for my foot. But it didn't seem the, the right time to interrupt. And, and so we, we kept talking and we kept hearing of his heart and desire to move in power that, that God has given us through Jesus. So after Ron finished and, and we were thinking about going up to, to see the grandkids, David asked, if uh, he says, well, I think we ought to pray right now for that. And, and so we, we had a time of prayer for, for power. And, and then David brought up and asked Ron if he would pray for my foot. And so, hey, I thought, all right, um, now, now um, someone else is suggesting it, and I feel it too. So I, I, I took the boot off. I, I said, I want you to touch the foot where it hurts. And he... Uh, he, he held the, the heel and he prayed about it and, and, it, and when he prayed uh, asking the Holy Spirit to come in and, and just do a healing work I felt God's presence 
and, and it, it was a very special time. Uh, uh, I had not felt that before in prayer over this foot. And when I stood up, I walked around, and, and the pain was gone. The pain was not there, and I, I stepped around. I, although I felt a tenderness, I said, there's still tenderness here. And so Ron again um, touched the, the tender part, prayed for it. And I, I walked around again, and I, I said, you know, David, I, I couldn't do this, especially on the hard floor. It, it, it would hurt the, the, uh, the foot. And, and in, but I'm walking around, you, you see here, I, I can do this and, and just kind of walk. And actually, it feels better than my other foot does. Standing on my other foot, I can feel, you know, what you feel when you stand on a hard foot. This one feels much better. And so I, I just give God the praise Amen. for that. I, I thank God for, for healing me. Amen. And, and I, 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 I just am so grateful and, and appreciative that, that Ron has the same desire that I have in my heart and I see in David's heart Amen. that we want more of God, Amen. That's more right. of God's more. power. <laughs> And, and just can't wait to see Amen. the things that he's going to do. That's right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. We're thankful. Amen. <laughs>